Hey guys, Spiderbot here, Next Gen Tactics. I got some new information for you about Black Ops 2 Zombies. There was a post made over in Charlie Intel not that long ago referencing a video posted by a YouTuber called Bebop Vox, who had an exclusive interview at E3 while he was at E3 with Activision's VP of Production, Daniel Suarez. So they talked about Black Ops 2, they talked about some of the campaign stuff that uh, had been released uh, during Microsoft's conference, and the conversation turned towards sort of multiplayer and zombies. So they talked about how, and we all know this, we all know that uh, the Treyarch is going to take sort of the zombies uh, engine which was based off of campaign in the past, the campaign engine in World of War and, and Black Ops, and they're moving it to the multiplayer engine uh, for Black Ops 2. And this allows them to do other things. And, and a few things he mentioned that um, multiplayer and some of the different things that they've done in multiplayer, I mean, he mentions uh, combat training, he mentions theater mode, and he mentions wager matches. So then the interesting part, he actually goes into a bit of detail. The first thing he talks about is theater mode and how it looks like he's basically confirming that theater mode is in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Awesome! Awesome! Uh, you're going to be able to create freaking, you know, like theater mode movies that you would create out of multiplayer. You're going to be able to do that in Zombies. You're going to see some pretty freaking epic Zombies videos uh, coming up, I think. Um, I mean, we could all... Uh, record and, and, and play videos and produce videos from uh, our first-person perspective in Zombies, but with theater mode, man, those those freaking movies can get so much better. And you've seen some of the movies that people have been able to produce from theater mode from uh, the multiplayer gameplay from Black Ops. Uh, bringing that theater mode to Black Ops to Zombies is going to be fantastic. So you're going to have these you know zombie movies, right? We can make our own zombie movies. That's going to be freaking cool. Now, the really interesting one is the wager matches. And again, he speaks specifically about wager matches and bringing that type of, of format of multiplayer gameplay into zombies in Black Ops 2. So, <laughs> now we know... Sorry, I'm just spinning. The wheels are spinning and, and thinking about what that, what that means. Um, so we've already confirmed... Again, he confirmed in, in, in that video, and, and they've already confirmed this before as well, that you're going to have the ability to play the four-player co-op as uh, we have in World of War and Black Ops. Uh, but also this... Uh, co-op or sorry multiplayer up to eight players so like a 4v4 scenario but then extending that even further uh 4v4 wager matches okay so there are a bunch of elements of wager matches that really you got to think about how would that impact in on zombies so number one is i mean if you're running wager matches you're obviously putting something on the line wager matches in black ops you had cod points so you're actually betting COD points. Too bad it wasn't real money, right? You could put real money on the line. I think that would be illegal in 52 states, including Alaska, though. <laughs> as well as other places, so I don't think it's going to be real money. But, um, you know, COD points. So are, they're obviously, sounds like they're bringing back COD points. Maybe it's zombie points for zombies, right? So you have zombie points. Um, so... But I don't think those zombie points would necessarily interrelate back to the four-player co-op. So if you're going to play four-player co-op, zombie points really don't come into the picture. It only comes into the picture for this multiplayer when you're actually playing against other people. So now the element of multiplayer is that, and, and this is what has made the Call of Duty multiplayer so successful, is that you can jump in, the games are short, the games are very fast-paced. So, okay, so how do you bring that to zombies? Because you can't have, you know, you're not going to go into a public match, 4v4, a wager match, and the game's going to last four hours. That's just, that's not going to work, right? So the games have to be much shorter, much more fast-paced. So my guess is, is that with the multiplayer aspect of 4v4, you're going to get dropped into a game of zombies. You're not collecting points to open doors. The zombies are just going to start coming fast and furious, and you're basically going to have loadouts. I think you're going to have loadouts um, and be able to buy ammo, buy upgrades, buy, buy perks, I would think, but it's going to be similar to a multiplayer progression uh, as you play through, through this stuff, because, again, you... The, the zombie points, let's, again, let's assume they're zombie points, not COD points, in the Zombies multiplayer. 
um, those are going to be have to be used for something, right? Like, what's the point of wagering zombie points if they're not used for something? And the way they're used in Black Ops is to unlock guns and unlock attachments, unlock perks, uh, unlock a whole bunch of equipment, etc. Right? So now we're gonna. My guess is that you're gonna have all this in zombies. So you're gonna have all these unlocks. I mean, similar to sort of that uh, that realism mod that exists right now for World at War. Um, it's. I think it's going to be the same sort of thing. I think it's definitely going to be the same sort of thing in this aspect, in the multiplayer aspect of uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies. And I think that's pretty damn cool. I think that's pretty damn cool. Um, and... <laughs> oh, no! No! Oh, did you guys see that? Freaking the astronaut got me. You see, he's all glitched out after we threw the Gersh. Gersh, he's all, like, moving backwards really, really quickly. Not good, not good. That was a bit glitched. Okay, anyway, so... I think that's really interesting. So, and obviously he's not talking about this stuff because it's not in the game. I mean, he's basically confirming that we've got zombies, theater mode to look forward to, and we have wager matches, which, again, just the simple fact of having wager matches tells us a lot uh, about the direction that they're taking zombies in the multiplayer aspect of it. So you're going to, again, it's going to be like realism. You're going to be ranking up in, in zombies. It's going to be very, very similar to the multiplayer, regular multiplayer ranking up. I mean, I can, I can foresee them having prestiges and they did, they did extend some of that, you know, going from black ops to Modern Warfare three and the spec ops, right? I mean, spec ops, there's ranking up. I mean, they don't have prestiges in spec ops, but you still ranked up. You still unlocked uh, weapons and, and equipment for uh, Spec Ops um, survival, right? So this is going to be along the same lines, although they're going to go much farther with it. So just going back to the, the whole 4v4, and like I said, uh, it, it can't be like a four-hour game. It's got to be something that happens maybe 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. Um, so how are they going to... And I want to get your feedback. This is where I want to bring you guys into the comments, the video comments, and ask you... What do you think they're going to do in order to make these games uh, shorter and more fast-paced? Because, like I said, they can't have a four-hour game going on here. Uh, it's got to be it's got to be short games. So, like I said, you have all this uh, these attachments, these weapons set up. You have classes set up. You go in on these uh, wager matches, and you're just dropped in. There aren't any. There are no rounds. The zombies just keep coming, and they're already pretty damn strong, and they just keep getting stronger. Uh, you know, second by second, minute by minute. That's that's what I think they would have to do. But what other ways, um, you know, I'm assuming that we're going to have sort of different game modes as well. So, again, I'm just asking you guys your opinions on what other things can they bring into the table now that we know, hey, it's going to be wager matches, they got to be shorter games, it's going to be up to 4v4. I'm assuming you can probably do 2v2 or 3v3 or whatever. Um... And people can drop in and out of these multiplayer games similar to uh, how they do right now. So how how are they going to make those games short? I mean, do you have to achieve certain objectives, right? An objective, hey, objective-based uh, zombies game mode, right? I mean, where you have to complete an objective and uh, whoever, whichever team completes it, uh, wins. Maybe, maybe, maybe they take, like, Search and Destroy... But they throw zombies into it. So not only do you have to go in, uh, if you're on the offense, you have to go and plant the bomb. You have the four players on the enemy team that you have to contend with. But then you also have all these zombies, right? So you got to actually, pl <laughs> actually plant the bomb and defend it uh, while these zombies are, are attacking everybody. I mean, maybe that's the way they're going to go. That's just one idea. That's what I want to get from you guys. What ideas do you have? about where this can go and, and different game modes that they could have in a, a 4v4 sort of multiplayer uh, fashion. So that's it. Anyways, uh, that's the information. And to be honest, I, I really wish in, in all respect to um, Bebop Vox, but um, I really wish that, that somebody that was interviewing uh, this guy, Daniel Suarez, actually had, uh, you know, what was more into zombies because he could have actually pushed this guy for more information. I mean, he actually spilled some decent information here, and I think with a few key questions, he could have got even more out of him, uh, but he actually, after um, 
Daniel answered the, those questions, uh, he actually went off and started talking about the campaign again, which is uh, really too bad. But uh, hey, more will come out as, as we go here, so we'll see what happens. And I really wanted to bring this to you. I hope you guys are psyched, man. It's going to be cool, and I'm really happy to see that they are making an effort to, to really portray that uh, the, the four-player co-op is still going to be a big part of Zombies, which I'm really a big fan of. But having the, the multiplayer, wager matches, etc. on top of all that is going to be freaking cool. So leave your ideas in the comments, and uh, I'm going to go back to playing Moon. All right? <laughs> I'm Spider Bite and I'm out.